Hello, my name is Carmen Blair. I'm the Deputy Director at the San Mateo County Historical Association, and I would like to welcome you to our newly renovated exhibit, Journey to Work, Pioneering Patterns of Growth, in the Joseph W. Welch Jr. Gallery. Journey to Work tells the story of how the different forms of transportation that came to this area transformed it to a rural, unpopulated area to the suburban area that we know today. In 1849, when people rushed here for the gold rush, there were very few people living on the peninsula, and there were only a few dusty trails along El Camino Real. But San Francisco was soon the biggest city in the West, and San Jose was thought to be a state capital, so a route of transportation was needed between the two. When the stagecoach journey started, it cost two ounces of gold to take the dry, dusty trip down bumpy roads. So a new form of transportation was needed, and in 1864, the San Francisco to San Jose Railroad started. This was the first commuter railroad of the West, and it allowed the business elite of San Francisco to enjoy a suburban dream down here on the peninsula. In the early 1900s, the streetcar started service down to San Mateo, and this allowed the middle class to enjoy the outdoor suburban lifestyle that the elite had enjoyed previously. And finally, the coming of the automobile expanded the commute from that El Camino Real route throughout the county, allowing more and more people to enjoy their suburban dream down here in San Mateo County. Hi, my name is Dana Neitzel. I'm the curator here at the San Mateo County History Museum. This section here, uh, we're kind of celebrating the 1950s as we talk about how the automobile transformed the cultural landscape in San Mateo County. Um, think about it, before the automobile, we didn't have paved roads, we didn't have parking lots, we didn't have diners with fabulous jukeboxes, we didn't have gas stations. Here's a 1950s a fully restored gas pump. Oil dispensers in the 1950s, there were no oil cans, people had to have the tend to measure out their oil and fill it in their cars. So that's kind of what this section is talking about, is how the cultural landscape changed. Um, another thing we're talking about here is this happens to be in 2012, the 100 year, year anniversary of the official ground breaking of the paved highway on El Camino Real in San Bruno. So we're also discussing that in this area. We have an actual El Camino Real mission bell on exhibit in here, a collection of license plates um, that represent all of the license plates throughout California's history. And these are just, this is just a small sample of some of the changes to this gallery. Other additions include a high wheel bicycle in our stagecoach area. There's lots of exciting things to see. The interactives have been improved. This is a Chrysler Imperial 1956, and it's unique in that it actually has a record player inside of it, which was always hard to see. So we had this platform created so that visitors can actually stand on it and look inside. I hope you can come and enjoy our exhibit. Thank you. So come join us and explore Journey to Work and see how this county transformed. You can visit us here at the History Museum, 2200 Broadway in downtown Redwood City, or for more information, visit our website at www.historysmc.org.